Hi everybody, this is Alessandra. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. Tonight I'm going to be making something different, but absolutely delicious. Okay, I'm making for you, with you, coconut curry shrimps. Uh, it's uh, a recipe I've uh, combined myself with the flavors I love, and I hope you do too, and I hope you will try it. So let's get started with the ingredients. I have about a pound of extra large shrimp. Okay, I'm going to be needing oil, which I don't have on the table. Sorry, I didn't take it out. But the first thing I did was I peeled the shrimp and I rinsed, I rinsed them and peeled them. I have the skin, the shells of the shrimp in about two cups of water. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put, go put that on because I'm going to be using that water and I need to start cooking already. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a pound of shrimp. I'm gonna go by order. So the oil, I have about two tablespoons of oil on a small onion that was sliced lengthwise, okay? And that's important because you need to fry it up until uh, golden, uh, actually caramelized. Uh, garlic, ginger, these very hot chili peppers. They're green, I get them in the South Asian store and they're amazing. I have cilantro, I have three plum tomatoes that have been chopped and as far as the spices are concerned, I have a uh, hot chili pepper, coriander, and turmeric. And each is a teaspoon. Okay, and then I have coconut milk. I usually get this brand. Be careful when you're buying. You don't want to get the sweetened coconut. You need the one that does no sugar for cooking. Let's move right over to the stove and let's get started. Let's get the oil in. Um, I just placed the, the flame on medium, medium high. And the next thing I'm going to all put in is, are the onions, the sliced onions. Higher the flame because you need this to start frying. Look and how beautiful the shrimp shells are boiling. See, as the onion is frying like this, we call this process in Urdu and Hindi, it's called bagar. And I learned this from my father-in-law. I'm gonna add, to break up the frying um, and the burning, because I want them to caramelize, I'm gonna add a little bit of the, of the shell water. See, what that's doing is breaking up, just like we use wine in Italian cooking. Uh, the water does the same thing. So there it goes, it's cooking. Take a look at now the onion, it's no longer burning. Now the water evaporated and it starts frying all over again. I'm going to grate in one inch pod of the ginger. I'm going to grate in a couple cloves of garlic. Get that a little golden, but don't burn it. So just keep adding a little bit of the water. That's all flavor you're adding in. This is an important part because the spices need to fry. If the spices are raw, it's not healthy. So just bring up the heat. Let them gently fry. You see that? That's exactly what you want. The chilies going to. Gonna keep adding a little bit of the water. There we go. Perfect. Tomatoes. Now lower your flame and let it cook until it's creamy and smooth. I'm gonna lower the flame. Place a lid on it and let it cook. It's been cooking for 25 minutes. It looks perfect. Let's start adding the cream. Okay, here goes the coconut cream. I'm gonna use the whole can. You know why? Because even if you eat the shrimps, you could still use the curry over rice. It's absolutely delicious. So now, I'm going to higher the heat just to get it start uh, boiling again, and then I'll lower it. Take a look at the color. 
and how delicious it looks. It's looking fantastic. Cilantro goes in, just chopped. And now it's a perfect time to adjust the salt. Since we didn't put any salt at all, I think one teaspoon should be good. You know what? I'm going to do less than a teaspoon. That seems like a lot. Normally, I grab it with my hand and do this. But since I feel that I got to give you a perfect measurement. So let's say it was three quarters of a teaspoon. Let me taste it. It's good. It's really good. It's very spicy and delicious. Now, bring your heat up high. Bring it to a boil. And let's get the shrimps in. I butterfly the shrimps because I love when they open up. So, I look at that. See that? I just love. Makes them look bigger and they even taste different. I kid you not. Let it cook five, six minutes. Don't overcook the shrimp because you ruin everything. So, take a look. Just come closer and it looks perfect already. See that? I'm ready to serve okay I have some jasmine rice and right over it we're going to add the coconut curry take a look at that doesn't that look fantastic thank you for watching please subscribe hit the bell button a lot of recipes coming up I'm very excited to present to you tonight something different uh, you used to me making Italian food but I also like a lot of the South Asian foods now I'm going to taste it Oh, delicious. The combination of the spiciness and the spices with the coconut and then the shrimp really brings this plate together. Wonderful plate. I always entertain with this. I also make it with mussels and I will show you that on another tutorial. Thank you. Arrivederci. Alla prossima. Ciao, ciao.